On Thursday, July 6th, around 2.32 p.m., Carowinds officially gave us a statement regarding Fury 325. And I have to say, this statement was beautifully written because it addresses every issue the media wanted to throw at Carowinds as well as the general GP. So kudos to Carowinds and this wonderfully written press release regarding the one and only Fury 325. My name is Brandon and welcome to Theme Park Predictions. And ever since Saturday, July 1st, 2023, I've been covering Fury 325 pretty much on a daily basis for you guys and for the world to know exactly what is happening on this Giga Coaster. And from the start, I predicted that this ride will be reopening in about two week time frame. And it turns out it's gonna be really close to that, which is great. And I'm very excited because I don't know about you, but I cannot wait to get on one of the best roller coasters in the entire world. As you can see here, Carowinds really knocked it out of the park with this press release regarding the current state of Fury 325. And as it turns out, they are in fact gonna be replacing that support column and it's gonna come down to Charlotte from Batavia, Ohio, where the BNM manufacturing plant is located within the next week. After that, they're gonna do all their different tests on the ride as well as send a bunch of cycles through and then it should be clear to reopen, hopefully in about a week time frame after all that, if not sooner. I did not make it up to the park today. However, I was sent a photo of water dummies strapped into a train, which they're not going to do that if they're not planning on testing the coaster. So what I do not know is if they had any test runs between the last couple days or not with the steel plates and the current support. It would not surprise me if they did this thing you know, late at night around 1130 or midnight when no one's around the park. Uh, but as far as I know, I do not know that information. I just know that Carowinds is in fact going to be reopening Fury 325 this year and July most likely, which is great because I had, I would say over 200 comments, and I'm not complaining, saying, Brandon, you know, this is, this it's going to be a lot longer than that. This ride's going to be down for the year. Some people even call me some very nice names, let's say that. And, uh, I'm just thrilled for all of us. I can care less if I get predictions right or not. Honestly, I just, I'm just here because I'm excited because Fury is going to be opening and that's great. So two really quick things first before I share some other news with you. And that is, if you like this shirt, I like roller coasters and maybe three people. You can get it today in my online store as well as my brand new Fury inspired design. Feel the Sting shirt, and I have more shirts like this coming out with some of your favorite roller coasters, and I cannot wait to show you that very, very soon. Now back to Fury 325. One question that's been brought up a lot, and that is, will they slow down the chain lift at the top of the ride to make the roller coaster go just a little bit slower throughout the layout? And honestly, I don't really see that really being a possibility. I mean, they could do it. Will it really affect the ride that much? I don't think so. But Fury's built on momentum, at least the first half, because going over that trouble cleft, I mean, you're hauling most of the summer days. However, come spring and fall, when it gets colder, sometimes the train just barely creeps through that trouble cleft. So I do not see any trims or them slowing down the lift hill at all when the ride does reopen. And again, that's great news for you, great news for me, and most importantly, great news for Carowinds. With all that being said, it's been an honor for me to be able to show you guys what's going on on Fury underneath my Fury Watch hashtag on Twitter as well as bringing you guys the videos every couple days. So again, thank you guys so much for the support. I will continue to update you guys via the channel. I'm going to hopefully catch the first test run with the new support and all the other stuff like that. So stay tuned. What are your thoughts about this? Please let me know in the comments. And again, Less than two weeks, I cannot wait to ride Fury 325. And with all that said, you guys, thank you all so much for watching. Remember to smile today, think positive, and of course, keep riding coasters. <laughs>